Now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. Credit card fraud. If you've ever been the victim, then you know how incredibly frustrating it can be, especially if the thief nabs your debit card. But knowing the risk can actually help you cut down your chances of being ripped off. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. How often do you scrutinize your credit card statement? If you're not doing it, you could be putting yourself in big financial risk. Credit card nightmare, credit card fraud. Call it what you want, but the bad guys want your numbers printed on the plastic. And once they get them, they're making it hard for law enforcement to catch up. They get wise and learn how to adapt and move a little quicker. You use your card at an ATM. Who doesn't? But beware, skimming is running rampant. Criminals capture data from the magnetic strip by attaching a small device on top of the ATM's installed card reader, and then a camera is fitted into the ATM over the keypad to capture your PIN number. In just minutes, your credit card information can be sent electronically across the country. And then with that credit card number, buying gift cards. Gift cards, that's the top transaction because even with the credit card getting shut down, the gift card's still good. They can buy multiple cards. Um, they can buy a dozen, 50, $100 prepaid cards. And the reality is gift cards are tough to trace to the bad guy. Track them down in the end, but it just makes it complicated to find each specific card that was utilized and purchased with this uh, credit card number. So watch your credit card statement and look for what's suspicious. Contact your credit card company the moment you lose your card. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.